Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about astrology and the sentencing of Todd uh, Chrisley. Uh, some of you may have heard of him. He was on uh, some reality show. I believe it was Everybody Loves Chrisley, but you may want to check on the title, but the reality show. But I know he was a re reality TV uh, star. Him and his wife were both sentenced recently. Um, to jail um, time because due to banks, some kind of bank fraud and tax evasion. And, you know, first, um, you know, I want to state, you know, before I start looking at the chart for natal placements and transits that may be tied into, you know, what has transpired um, with Todd um, Grizzly is, you know, the fact that, you know, a lot of this, um, my understanding is that the motive, you know, was avarice and greed that was connected with this. I know no big shocker, of course, um, with that, but I think what happens with some people, you know, they get their their taste of you know, the notoriety and they get their, you know, money and they're affluent, they have prosperity, but, you know, sometimes it just breeds more of that need um, for money and it does become greed, unfortunately, in some um, cases. They, but what happened was my understanding is that there were, um, you know, they had, um, you know, Todd uh, Crisley and his wife, they had a fallacious bank statements, and that's what, how they were able to um, obtain their loans, and, you know, apparently what it was used for, it was to support an extravagant and lavish lifestyle, and, um, you know, it just, um, it just shows you we don't always know what's going on, you know, behind closed doors, and you know, who's involved, and what crime or who's doing corrupt things or you know, things that are unscrupulous or um, what have you and anyway um, it just and he was sentenced um, Todd Crisley was sentenced to um, 12 years um, in jail my, my understanding on that 12 years and I think his wife got seven years I believe it was 19 years combined with the uh, sentencing so um, anyway, it's a little bit, you know, I'm sure it's a shot, you know, real surprise to some people out there, the fan, people that were fans of this reality show, but I'm going to talk about some natal placements in this chart and some transits that might have been connected you know, with what was going on with, you know, this, you know, the fraud that he was involved in, um, with his wife and, um, Anyway, and again, it's it was bank bank fraud. At least those are two of the crimes. There may have been more, but bank fraud and tax evasion are at least two of you know the, the crimes that he had been uh, him and his wife were convicted on. Of course, you know they are planning um, an appeal on this, so we'll see how you know how that transpires. But anyway, well, the first thing you know, of course, I mean I don't have uh, time of birth for Todd. Grizzly, so I had to improvise once again and do a solar slash sunrise a chart. Um, he is born on uh, April 6, 1969. Um, had to do a, again a solar sunrise chart, which I put the sun at the same spot as the ascendant. Um, his sun in Aries and moon in um, Sagittarius, and I mean naturally very fiery combination. You know, the sun in Aries, you know, the sun in astrology is of our basic fundamental character, and somebody naturally, I'm sure, very aggressive, assertive, outspoken, you know, pioneering, but yet can be impulsive. Um, and then the moon in Sagittarius, it's like, you know, Sagittarius is that incorrigible optimist of the zodiac. Uh, moon in Sagittarius, and as far as the moon goes, it's our emotional needs, so that could show an emotional need, you know, for the outdoors, for adventure, sports, um, expanding one's horizons and being very optimistic. And as far as the unconscious trait may go, could be very optimistic, expansive, and upbeat. And what's interesting in the solar sunrise chart, it does fall in the eighth house of loans. So it could show that he was feeling maybe a little bit over optimistic regarding matters with what he was going to do with loans. And it's also, it, it, based on the solar sunrise chart and time, it does, his moon conjoins Neptune. And that shows, um, you know, being, you know, that moon, you know, in Sagittarius, again, feeling, could be feeling very overly exuberant and optimistic. 
and conjoining Neptune about being deceptive and then being in the eighth house of loans and Neptune is in Scorpio I understand that's generational but um, it by itself though still could indicate you know deception excuse me in matters with loans because Scorpio is the sign that rules uh, loans and Neptune is deception and it's also Neptune is evasive it's escapism and the Neptune and Scorpio can indicate you know, the evasion you know um, avoiding escaping matters with taxes and being in the eighth house of crime and it's um it's also too you know what I notice it stands out uh, in um, Todd uh, Grizzly's chart is that he has Jupiter based on this solar sunrise time Jupiter is in Virgo at 29 degrees and you know, 29 degrees an anoretic degree in astrology and I've talked about before is that Jupiter could be very paradoxical it could be very strongly benign and benevolent but it could also have a tendency to enlarge and expand it could expand parsimony and it's at the 29th degree and then Jupiter is also connected with the law and you're probably wondering well how would that how does that tie in with Todd um, Crisley I mean he was living an extravagant lavish lifestyle he certainly wasn't anybody that was frugal or parsimonious well to some degree he may have been because uh, a lot of the money he was spending was coming from like coming from you know was coming from those loans that he got from the bank it might have been something where he might have been trying to avoid using his own actual income and he was just perceiving this as free money as far as the loans go and um, you know he and also the tax evasion which was money that was supposed to of course then go to the government which he was actually spending so in, in its in a way he might have been trying to avoid spending what is his own money as much as possible and you know that's how I see you know the Jupiter in um, Virgo at the 29th degree again you know Jupiter is connected with the law at 29 degrees is a crisis degree um, in astrology and the thing about um, it is too and being in Virgo the sign of frugality and in parsimony um, and what's interesting too he actually you know, when I look at his um, chart as well he's got a really strong um, you know Aries and dominant chart I mean he's got four planets in Aries and the North Node and Chiron um, in Aries as well and he's got um, a stellium which is a he's got a four planet stellium in Aries starting with Mercury followed by the Sun then Venus and Saturn you know when you look at a stellium I mean it's um basically you know the, the stellium is very concentrated and integrated um, in energy and astrology and basically what starts out you know with the first planet ends with the final one it's basically you know forms an astrological statement and um, it starts out with mercury you know, mercury in Aries is about thinking in the mind and the Sun is followed by the Sun which is our focus and then Venus is about money and then Saturn you know is connected you know, could say you know with the career in this uh, in this case and being in, um, in Aries you know very it's very aggressive energy but what another way I wonder if this may have manifested with him is that you know the Mercury in Aries you know the impulsive aggressive thinking followed by the Sun which is our focus and then Venus it's about money and spending aggressively and then Saturn could be connected with authority maybe this led it might have manifested in him leading um, uh, pro leading to problems with authority all of this you know aggressive you know Aries energy and that spending um, you know Venus and Aries by itself can be very impulsive and aggressive in terms of you know their spending habits and then the conjunction of Saturn might indicate that you know it leads to you know some kind of sorrow or despondency um, but it but again you know, this could be you know, something tied in with where he had you know, maybe some success in his career at the time the fact that Saturn is involved and 
Hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway. Another thing I want to talk about, too, is some uh, aspects in this chart. Man, he does have, um, you know, the North Node, you know, conjunct his uh, natal Chiron. And it's an Aries. And that could indicate some suffering, emotional wounds that could be tied in that are, you know, part of one's future. I wonder if this, you know, could have manifested in some kind of sad destiny, which where he was going to have some kind of suffering. And it falls in the 12th house of imprisonment and incarceration. Um, he has Pisces in the solar sunrise chart, Pisces on the cusp of the 12th house. And that could indicate, you know, imprisonment due to something deceptive and duplicitous for some kind of escaping, you know, evasion, in this case, tax evasion. And one of the rulers of the 12th house of imprisonment, uh, Neptune falls in the 8th house of taxes and loans. And this is the reason why he was incarcerated and imprisoned. He also has transit Neptune in that 12th house. So that's in another indicator of imprisonment due to doing something deceptive and fallacious. Transit Jupiter is um, conjunct his... Uh, his north node um, right now and as I talked about before Jupiter can have a tendency to enlarge things it's a benevolent planet but it could be very paradoxical it could have a tendency to enlarge issues and sadly it might have enlarged into something you know in this case negative connected with the future or maybe there was some destiny in connected with the law catching up with them because Jupiter is connected um, with the law and um, and that's where it was just in because when you have the north node involved in transit that could uh, suggest issues one may have to address and confront and this could have been you know the time where he had no choice but to confront these issues and he has um, been sentenced um, to a um, you know to a pretty good time 12 years it's a pretty good time um, in jail and you know I just wonder you know you have these um, people uh, that are renowned and they, you know they have celebrity status and I don't know if they have maybe this aura of invincibility around them or they think you know they're you know impervious to punishment or what's you know or they don't think they're gonna get caught but you know, I'd like just like to say that you know people out there that are watching it no matter what you're doing in life no matter how you know how much money you have, no matter how successful you have, you are, and how much notoriety you have in life, you know that nobody is invincible to this. And sometimes, when you're a person of celebrity status, I believe they may try to make an example out of you. So, you know, I'm just trying to. What I'm saying is, I'm just dissuading, discouraging people from, you know, getting involved in anything uh, corrupt because this could happen, you know, to anybody. Twelve years is a pretty good time to be in jail for. And you know, right now, Todd uh, Grizzly is. Uh, 53 uh, years old so he's looking at you know a time where you know he's gonna be 65 years old when he gets out of jail I mean right then he's gonna be an older person uh, at that time so it's a very good percentage of his life that he's going to um, be in jail for and it just it's just something that nobody really wants to um, you know to be involved in and anyway um just looking for some other things I want to talk about in this chart that could be relevant to what's been transpiring with him. Um, he also has um, Pluto. Interesting that Pluto is in opposition uh, to his North Node, and right there, you know, of course, oppositions are adversarial. You know, the Pluto again being in Virgo. I talked about before about well, I talked about Jupiter in Virgo before. But, you know, the Pluto, um, you know, in Virgo may, may indicate in some cases, though, it's generational and obsession or fixation with parsimony. And then you have it opposing the North Node, which is one's future. Um, so it, it could indicate right there that that could be, um, you know, that being the way he was, you know, not wanting, maybe not wanting to spend 
a lot of his own money sadly was going to oppose what he could do in terms um, of his future um, in his life sadly and it's just um it really just a sad um, situation again just to you know, reiterate what I was saying before I understand he lived you know him and his wife were living you know an extravagant and lavish lifestyle there they spent obviously an exorbitant amount of money on various things and things you know some may consider superfluous I think one one was luxury cars or maybe fashion items but what I'm talking about is you know the fact that frugality with him could exist to a certain degree again because he might have been trying to avoid spending you know his actual own money on things and trying to spend as much as he could um, that money that came uh, like for instance from the loan uh, from the loans he got and also the government money he was um, you know he that money that should have been going to the IRS to the government um, you know that was actually really their money is what he may have been spending you know a lot and um, you know that might have been money that he was spent more money he was spending on um, uh, you know as far as the government money goes he was uh, spending more uh, the majority of the money he was spending I guess what I'm trying to say is the majority of the money he was spending may have either been you know from the from the loans and from and the money that was supposed to go um, to the government may and that may have been the majority of the money that he had that he was actually spending and if that makes sense so that's what I'm pretty much trying to um, trying to get at and um, so it's really you know again it's just a sad um, situation of being a transit sun was not far from his natal Neptune when this took place and this could kind of shine the light so to speak on deceptive and duplicitous activity and again with Neptune being in Scorpio something connected with taxes and uh, and loans and to put this in the spotlight um, basically and another thing I know some um, he had was uh, he has Venus in Aries in loose conjunction I'm, I'm sorry a loose in conjunct aspect to his Pluto in Virgo um, and the thing is um, you know right there you know in conjunction astrology can often be about uh, adjustments it could indicate too much or too little of something when you have um, the Venus and Aries um, you know that right there I mean that could be very aggressive impulsive spending you have this in conjunct aspect and you know Pluto is about control so that could in the aspect itself you know can indicate too much or too little control over your finances over your money to me excuse me maybe this indicated that it was too little control over aggressive and impulsive spending spontaneous spending is what I'm going to say and you know the thing is um, again if I could reiterate this one more time and try to say this better you know going so one more time not to be overly redundant but going back to you know the um, you know the Jupiter and you know, placement and you know Jupiter being in, in Virgo and then you have um, you know, of course you have the you know Pluto and Virgo you know again Virgo energy is you know parsimonious and as I stated before you know he was they were trying to live a, you know they were obviously living an extravagant and lavish lifestyle but parsimony could have existed in a, a quiet in a quiet way because um, they might have he I think what Todd Crisley may have been doing was trying to avoid maybe spending his own money and majority of the money he spent may have been money that was supposed to go to the government to the IRS and um, and money that would be paid back supposed to just be paid back to loans so I guess I'm saying it right hopefully I'm saying that correct more correctly now and more in a more lucid manner than I was saying before but anyway it's really not nothing not much more I want to get at I'm just noticing that um, you know, I'm looking at you know the eighth house and uh, you know Scorpio you know in the solar sunrise chart Scorpio falls on uh, the eighth house cusp and the ruler one of the rulers is Mars 
which falls in the eighth house. So right there, that could indicate a crime. Uh, eighth house is the house of crime. And being Scorpio on, it might have been done, I don't know if you want to say surreptitiously, maybe. But the, having the ruler of that in the eighth could indicate the crime you know, being associated with taxes and loans. The ruler of Mars is an adventurous and reckless Sagittarius, so go figure. But um, anyway, people. That'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Leonard saying stay well.